Hey beer tubers! I finally got this beer here in San Francisco, so I'm really excited to blog about it for you guys. I'm going to be having the Lucky Bastard Ale by Stone Brewing. Now this is a really interesting beer by Stone in which they blended three of their bastard ales, which one of them being the Arrogant Bastard, the Double Bastard, and a good chunk of the Oaked Arrogant Bastard, and it lies at 8.5% ABV. I remember having this two years ago uh, from the first release, which was for their 13th anniversary. This is the 15th anniversary release of it, and I really... I remember I really really enjoyed it. It was great. So I can't wait to have this year's so let me go ahead and open it up and I'll show you guys how it is. Yeah, so as you see in the color here, it's got a very uh, dark copper red color. Um, it's actually really dark. Um, it's almost to the point where it's like purple. Uh, but uh, it's, it's got uh, not too much carbonation going on, but it does ha have a one finger head, a slightly reddish tinge to the frothy uh, head that's formed on it. Let me check the aroma. Ooh, wow. Oh yeah. Like right up, right up front I got quite a bit of caramel malts, some biscuity character, some bready uh, character to it as well too. But then right at, right away I got some of that some of those hops to back it up, which is really really nice um, because sometimes if it's just a malt bomb, it becomes boring and it's, it's like okay whatever. But this is actually quite interesting. Yeah, and definitely the San Diego hops. You get the citrus hops. You get the very uh, very strong piney character to this. Yeah, it, it smells great. Uh, let me go ahead and give it a try here. Come bite. Wow. You know, I must say, it's been a while since I've had the Arrogant Bastard, or the Double Bastard, or the Oak Arrogant Bastard, and so this is after a long time of having no bastards, and this is my long time no bastard ale. <laughs> um, wow, that is really, really interesting. Um, right off the bat, I got a decent amount of carbonation just hitting the tongue, but as the carbonation is hitting, um, you got some of that, that copper caramel kind of... Uh, flavor coming in and, and um, is like you get quite a bit of the malt in it, hit, hitting you. Um, if you ever had the Arrogant Bastard or the Double Bastard, you know those are malt bombs, but if you definitely get it when you get it uh, fresh, uh, there's quite a bit of hops in it as well too, so it's this, it's, it's almost, it might be one of the, one of the first, one of the first American strong ales that came out when it first did, when Arrogant Bastard came out and then the Double Bastard. Um, but yeah, like carbonation, a lot of caramel up front, um, biscuity characters to it, and then the hops definitely takes over. You got the citrus hops, although it's not as noticeable as when you have their IPA, but uh, because of the, the 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 very malty character of this beer, but it, the citrus hops are there. You get you get a quite a bit of the pine, and as I'm drinking this more, I'm definitely getting uh, some light oaked characters to it. Um, and as the beer warms up as well too, that while the oak is there, you get the wood and vanilla character towards the end. Uh, not so much in the middle of it, but at least I get it towards the end. And it, it just it just takes you on a really really nice journey because it has so many dimensions. And I just love beers where they actually tells a story and takes you on a journey. Uh, this Lucky Bastard is definitely one of them, uh, not only just because the blend, the blending of it is just, is crafted so well, but the oak character, because they have quite a bit of the oak uh, arrogant bastard, that adds that extra dimension that you don't expect towards the end. It's just such an interesting beer to drink. I highly recommend getting this to drink. Um, you know what? My rating for this, I usually don't do this, but this is this gets an A plus for me, and this is coming from someone that doesn't usually go out of my way to buy Arrogant Bastard. I don't think Arrogant Bastard is a bad beer. It just doesn't really fit my taste. isn't It's not something that I usually seek after. Same thing for the Double Bastard, but this, holy crap! I mean, on top of everything I told you from the carbonation, the malt, the hops, and the oak, um, it adds a nice dryness to the end as well, and it's just such. A great beer. Uh, I'm really glad they release this every year because otherwise I might not have any bastards <laughs> at all by stone. Um, like I said, it just doesn't really suit my taste, but this thing here is excellent. It's an A plus for me. So if you could get a hold of it, definitely do so. Uh, I read some reviews 
uh, looking for some people that have cellared the beer and I haven't read any good results from it so when you buy this definitely get it fresh or by the time that they tell you to drink it by so anyways this was the lucky bastard by stone brewing and I highly recommend it drink it while it's fresh and I'll see you guys in the next beer blog come by